Okay. Hi. Uh, so um, this is something that we've been baking for a while. We've been baking this since April. So it's, it's, a, it's a mentoring program that we, we are, will be introducing uh, to Junior Dev Singapore. Um, so this the first batch will be starting in September. So I'll, let me just go through a little bit more details. If you want uh, to know more about this, take a photo of this uh, QR code. Uh, you this link is basically there's a link to this slide. So I'll be going through quite a few slides. So if you want to follow along or you want to share this, you can share this link with your friends. Uh, it'll be interest. It might be of interest to some of you, right? We got it. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Right, everyone got it? Okay, cool. So, what is this all about? So, the mentor pro uh, mentoring program, uh, so we did a survey uh, for all Judith, uh, for our group, Junior Dev SG, sometime uh, earlier this year. So, basically, to identify uh, like what are the, your mentoring needs, the things that you guys uh, all feel that you want to learn and, and to grow. So, basically, we identified three areas. One is that you, you, you all are looking for some form of career coaching and guidance. Uh, you really desire professional growth and you're looking for some work-related work or technical skills uh, uh, leveling up, right? So uh, basically, this is something that we hope we can, we can provide for you and help you in your, in your journey uh, as a developer. For the technical skills, we, do, we already have the developer's gym that we conduct every two weeks. So that kind of like helps you with a specific tech skill. So I hope that uh, for those of us who have been participating in the developer's gym, I hope you have been benefiting a lot from those coding dojos and whatnot. But I think it's something we also want to uh, I want to um, help is in the area of career guidance and professional growth. So we feel that it might be best to address this in, with a regular form of like mentoring session. So we tried this as a pilot program sometime in April, and uh, right now we're kind of ready to announce and share with you all our what we're going to try what we're to do. So one thing we want to focus on is a group mentoring kind of a format. So why, we, why do we do, want to do this? Because we feel that in doing this, if we're a consistent group, we will probably hope, we hope to get, an, uh, and of course with regular cadence, uh, we hope to provide a safe zone for you all to uh, have more meaningful and deeper sharing with people and to basically grow, con uh, create connections with people in the industry and friends and even mentors that you could uh, have who could even be your co-workers in the future. So uh, our hope is that you form some accountability circles through these groups and be able to continue growing along the way. So before the sessions, uh, w what we hope to do is to meet with the mentors and uh, have a mentors orientation. This will be on the 13th of August and we will prepare the mentors uh, for uh, the mentoring session. And we'll also kick it off on, the, uh, so the official kickoff will be on the 20th uh, of August where we'll have the shortlisted mentees will be introduced to mentors and basically we'll have a uh, to help set expectations for everyone and uh, how we could probably go forward with this and so everyone can have, can have alignment about what we want to, want to learn and from on the day mentees can nominate three persons who they want to be as their mentor and then we'll form groups after the kickoff so that's essentially it, that's how we will kind of kick it off and that's how we and the mentoring groups will try to make uh, keep it at a good ratio Basically, uh, two mentors to three mentees, uh, 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 ideally. And it will probably be a mixed uh, gender kind of uh, mentors. Basically, there will be uh, one guy and one, uh, one lady leading each team. It, uh, and we believe, so again, we believe in a healthy and balanced ment uh, mentor to mentee ratio is kind of important to maintain uh, quality and provide quality attention to everyone so, that every so everyone can feel that they are they're taken care of and their needs are, are, are listened to and we can cater for everyone. Um, so as such, we, we will need to kind of limit, or rather our capacity to take in mentees is based on how many mentors we get, right? So if you have a capacity to become a mentor with us, we would like to, you to invite you to join us as a mentor. So if you, and or tell your friends, tell your colleagues, tell your, tell your um, um, uh, mentors at work that they can now mentor a big group of people, hopefully, right? So, um, and of course, with mentees with uh, gender preference, we can also put you in all women or all men's group. Yeah, we understand that some, some women feel that, they, that they, they, some people feel that they're more comfortable sharing things with a group that's of the same gender. So we understand that, we, we want to cater for that as well. Uh, the group mentoring sessions, we hope to do like six sessions, once every three weeks on Tuesdays. We like Tuesdays because, you know, Tuesdays are nice. It's not Monday, so it's, it's Tuesday. <laughs> 
Anyway, so we'll try to put all, do it all in the same venue for all the groups. So all the group, all the all the different groups come together in the same in the same room, and uh, we'll probably have little corners where we can do our own group mentoring sessions. So why we do want to do this because we want to allow uh, the the groups also get to know each other. And for some groups where maybe some some people may not be available or the mentor may not be available, we can also have the option to uh, occasionally combine groups if there are is a shortfall. So that's kind of, it kind of worked out for us in, 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 the, in the pilot run, which we did in April. So the session will usually start with a dinner. We'll have some talks by mentees, uh, sorry, by mentors on a specific team. So what we uh, learned from our pilot run is that the, some of the men, uh, mentoring groups felt a bit um, aimless, as in they, we did actually uh, prescribe what you should do during the mentoring uh, mentoring sessions. So some of them felt a little bit unsure about what they should do, and some some mentors, to their credit, uh, did improvise and try some interesting things. Uh, like some someone uh, one group actually went out and started doing like a UX uh, a wireframing session and kind of learned for how to do wireframing. Um, Sheldon was in the group somewhere, I think. Yeah, and um, yeah, another group did like a mock interview where the mentees were actually interviewing the mentor. <laughs> Just to find out how it's like uh, be, to be in, on the reverse side of the thing, of the equation, and they learned quite a lot from that session. So essentially, um, so this time around, we've tried to make it more, more a bit more directed with um, mentoring. Uh, so we we'll have a, a team uh, set up for each a team per uh, per mentoring session, where we have a, some men, the mentors talk a little bit about this uh, the, about the specific team, and then we we'll break up into small groups, and they'll basically do their. Uh, Group discussions about this team, and there'll be a share back uh, about what they have learned from, from each other. Hopefully, in the sharing back, you also learn, and uh, we, we believe that in sharing, you learn, you basically grow more. I see you learn from each other, and there's so many different insights you can get from just listening to what other people have to say about the, the, the team. Um, right, so and after that, we, if we have time, <laughs> we go for supper. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, groups may arrange for additional social gatherings in between because you know we say it's going to be every three weeks. Uh, in the pilot run, we actually did, did it every two weeks, um, which for some of the mentors was a little bit taxing. Yeah, um, and some of the mentees as well, they, they felt that they, they couldn't quite uh, come for all the sessions. So we tried to, so we're changing it to a three week uh, interval. So basically, you have time to take a rest, do your other things, and even uh, you have also have the freedom to catch up with your mentors and mentees during uh, this in between the three weeks, right? We also try to institute a, a buddy system. Basically, uh, between the mentor and mentee in the same group, we'll probably create like a buddy system where you can be a bit more, have a bit more time and follow up, and be be individually accountable to each other. So, this is something we'll try to introduce. We'll see how it goes. It's um, yeah. Anyway, there's also going to be an enrollment fee, you know, a token forty dollars because you know um, we need to. We had feedback during our uh, uh, again through our, our pilot pilot run that um, feeding them pizza all the time was a bad idea. So <laughs> yeah, so you know health uh, concerns and some variety thrown in. Yeah, so no pizza. And we'll, of course, in order to do that, we probably need to collect some money and and help us pay for the pay for good food. Um, right. So yes, the money will go to food and logistics. Uh, mentors get to come for free, so that's that's one thing we want to try and encourage more and more mentors in this program. Um, of course, it's only payable after you have you've been accepted into uh, the mentoring program, right? So, uh, so I'll show you some photos of our pilot run. So we ran this between uh, 11th of April to the 21st of May. We only did uh, one kickoff and three mentoring sessions. It's kind of like to kind of figure out what it's like running this program. It's, in a way, it's my first time running a mentoring network like this, a mentoring program like this. So it's also for me to learn how to go about running this. Right. So this is how the group looks like. So there's a big bunch of them here. You've, you actually see them in the audience right now. There's Caleb at the back over there. There's Wing over there. And Isha, one of our mentors over there. Max down here, um, one of our mentors as well. There's Sheldon over there, another one of our mentors. So yeah. So. Um, this is uh, the first, this is actually the last mentoring session that we had on twenty first of May, and this is the group that showed up. Um, so on the on the on the left here, you see a photo of uh, of us doing um, the kickoff session where everyone was sitting in a circle. They introduced each other. Uh, they introduced themselves to the group, 
and uh, and then we did like uh, more networking sessions and talk to each other and find out who who they like and, and maybe find out more about the mentors that uh, they they felt uh, have they have more affinity to and they basically talk a bit more and then they nominate three names that they wanted to be in as their mentor. Some of them um, actually have no preference. So okay, you have no preference, then I will throw you into one one of the groups. Yeah, which is actually which works out quite okay as well. Um, yeah, so on the left you see this uh, one of the mentoring groups. They were doing like a wireframing session because I didn't kind of give them any curriculum, so they kind of like came up with their own. So it's kind of interesting. Um, of course, we have supper as well. Yes, drinks and more. Um, yeah, these are two examples of the of the all women's groups that we had. So they had a couple of uh, of them. Isha over there. See, see over there. Happy smile. Yes. That's all. You can talk to Isha later. She can tell a bit more about this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, more examples of, of, the, of the attendees. And of course, if you are interested, um, after my somewhat not so, uh, you know, charismatic uh, sharing about this, um, you may wish to sign up and join us. So, mentees, you have the link on the left. And the mentors, you have the link on the right. So take this photo. Uh, you have already taken a, uh, a link or photo of the slides. You probably have access to this too, right? So it's a simple Google form. Uh, we'll ask you some questions. Um, and I hope uh, you can join us in this. And you can, uh, I hope you can also learn from, from everyone um, through this program. And yeah, any questions? Yes. Is there any specific objective when building something? Or is it more like sharing? <coughs> It's more sharing experience and knowledge. Um, to be specific, um, in the sense, this mentoring session, mentoring program is not that technical. As in, we're not here to kind of teach you a technical skill. We feel that the technical skills and technical learning, we have other things that we can provide for you in terms of of the, those technical learnings, like learning learning how to write CI, how to do clean code, all that stuff. We have developers gym that happens every two weeks. You can come for that and you can learn uh, more coding skills. If you have interesting topics that you'd like us to cover in, during the developers gym, you can let us know. And we can also try and uh, bring together uh, the content for that. Um, so mentoring session is a bit more, less, more of the soft skills, as in things that you don't read in the textbook. right? I think a lot of things that I myself as a developer learn, I learn from other developers. I learn from seniors and mentors that I have learned uh, that, that, that has taken time to invest in me. And I think it's time that we pay it forward. I want to pay it forward to the rest of the community and for all the, uh, I'm sure many of you have benefited a lot from having mentors in your life. And I want to also pass it on to you. I want, I want to um, share that knowledge to more people. Um, any other questions? Yes. <laughs> we have uh, so it'll be one kickoff and six mentoring sessions. Yeah. So it definitely won't cover everything. I probably have to pay some from out of my own pocket. So yeah. Of course, mentors can also put, uh, add money to the pool if you want to. It's okay. You know. Yeah. Now you tell us. <laughs> <laughs> And may, may I um, ask the mentors and mentees from the pilot uh, batch to stand so that I can, um, people can recognize you and for me to thank you for, for helping me to figure out these things. It's Max over here, Caleb, Wing, we have Raven, Prem, and Sheldon, right? So, um, and Isha, hello, hi. Where are you going? I see. So, uh, of course, we also, I also want to thank Joy, Joy Zhang from Facebook. Uh, she's the one who inspired me to, tr to try this. So, thank you. So, I, I hope you all uh, will spend some time and, sh and, and talk to the mentors and mentees from the pilot batch and to find out their experience. I hope you can uh, and find out more from them and if you feel that you, this is something you'd like to take the part of. Um, of course, we, we, this will not be the first batch we will run. So after the first batch running after uh, up to December, we'll probably try to run the second batch in, in 2020, right? And then we have 2020 vision. No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> so anyway, yes, uh, that's all I have. 
And of course, uh, as always, there's also this little um, thing that I do at the end of every session is to share with you uh, this link. So if you have not joined us in the DevSG Telegram chat, you can join us there. So this is like a Telegram chat for all the developers in Singapore. You'll find all the cool kids there, including me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that cool, so, but you know, you can just go there and say hi. Yes. And um, yeah, um, that's all I have. Uh, do, we, do you guys have any other questions about the mentoring set, uh, mentoring program? Please go talk to the mentors and mentees from the first uh, from the pilot batch and ask them about their experience and um, and sign up. I hope I look forward to your submissions. And actually, that's the end of the of the evening. Yes, Kaho, what? Just one more announcement. Okay. Uh,